So, who is this camera for? Who did Sony decide to make this camera for? Seems like a lot of people on YouTube are completely missing the point. This camera is not meant for professional use. It's not meant to be a camera that you put somewhere and record for 30 minutes straight. It's not meant to be a workhorse and do weddings and any professional work. It's not meant for professionals. This is a YouTuber's camera. So if you complain or if uh, a YouTuber complains about it overheating, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's not meant to be recorded, recording for 20, 30 minutes straight. That's not what this is for. This is for somebody traveling. This is for somebody going to an event and just doing some shots on the event, doing talking head videos like this, quickly grabbing a couple of clips, walking to somewhere else, grabbing some clips there. Um, if you are complaining about the small HDMI port, this camera is not for you. You're not supposed to plug in a monitor. If you want to plug in a monitor, buy an A7S III. That's what the A7S III is for. This is for mobility. That's the main target for this camera. It's for mobility. That's why it comes with that crappy 28 to what is it? 20 to 60 millimeter lens, I think. Um, I haven't actually. I don't even think I've used it once. So. That's why it comes with that lens. It's supposed to be ridiculously compact. That's a very compact lens. It's 100% portability. And obviously with portability comes handheld. That's why the stabilization's good because you don't need a gimbal because you don't want to carry a gimbal with. Um, you don't really, that's why the microphone's good because you don't want to put extra microphone on. Um, oh yeah, I'm recording with the microphone now, the onboard microphone. So I'm not plugging any other microphone in. But yeah, that's the point of this camera. It's supposed to be mobile. It's not supposed to last long. It's not supposed to be used for uh, wedding shoots or for any professional work whatsoever. Case in point, this camera, what's the name of this camera? It's not an A-series camera. The A-series cameras are professional cameras. This is a ZV camera. What does ZV stand for? ZV stands for Generation uh, Gen Z, that's the Z, and V stands for Vlogging. So that's who it's for. It's not for professionals. It is for Generation V, Generation Z vloggers. It's in the name. <laughs> you, you can't get it more clear than that if it's actually in the name of the camera. That's who it's for. Um, the nice thing with it obviously having a full frame sensor, a lot of people will probably think, oh, now it's for professional use because it's got a full frame sensor. The, what I like about it is the fact that the full frame sensor gives you nice low light capabilities. And uh, as a vlogger, like the video I'm doing right now, you need low light because you're not carrying lights with. You're not, you're not going to a wedding where you can have control over the lights. You're not going on a TV set or a production house where you can add more lights. You're running and gunning. Wherever you are, you just want to hit record and you want to go. Which means most of the time there's not going to be lights. So that's why you need a full frame sensor. You need that low light performance. So this is an amazing camera. Absolutely amazing. If, if you're a vlogger. If you just want to do some travel videos, if you um, have a channel with some uh, a YouTube channel or an Instagram channel or a TikTok channel even with a specific niche, this is the perfect camera for you. It's absolutely perfect and it's for people like that. The people that complain about this camera are the people trying to use it for professional purposes. You're actually missing the point of the camera. So look at what the people are saying and look at what they're actually using it for. This is a YouTuber's camera. If you make YouTube videos and you are mobile, portable, not studio videos, not a video where you're gonna put the camera down for. So think about it like this. All these other YouTubers that are out there <clears throat> doing these tests and overheating the camera and saying, oh, it overheats at 45 minutes or it overheats at 30 minutes. How did they do it? They put the camera on a tripod. Did they hold it in their hands the complete time, the 45 minutes? No, they don't. So 
if you wanted to overheat, you're going to have to carry a tripod. Okay, and if you're carrying a tripod, that means you're already not having anything that's pocketable because you're carrying an extra tripod. So you're probably carrying a bag as well. So then you might as well carry a A7S III or you might as well carry a FX9 or FX6 or whatever. You're already carrying a lot of stuff with you. So then the camera becomes pointless because this camera is made for pocketability. It's meant to be, it's meant to be mobile. It's meant to be handheld. You're not going to handhold this camera for 45 minutes until it overheats. Well, if you do, then let me know. That's, that's, that's pretty impressive. I'll, I'll be very impressed <laughs> if you can manage to do that. So, yeah, the point is not to put it on a tripod. This camera does not belong on a tripod. It belongs in your hands. And uh, I've had mine for a couple of weeks now, and I'm absolutely over the moon happy with it. Sony didn't give me anything, or Sony doesn't know I exist, so <laughs> no money changed hands. Um, this is my camera, and it's it's been absolutely amazing. I love it. I mostly put the 24mm f2.8 lens on it. Then it's it's ridiculously pocketable. It's so small. And the nice thing is that the microphone's good, so I don't need to put external microphones on it. So that is also awesome. So yeah, I, I absolutely love it. I don't have a problem with overheating. Um, I don't have a problem with anything else actually whatsoever. I'd love it as is. If you like this video, remember to press the button. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Until next time, this is Steve. Ciao.